What's up, guys? I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. We can all agree there's been a lot of news recently, especially now that we're in the month of July. A lot has been happening, so we will hop straight into looking at the XRP charts. It seems that the market is trying to find some stable ground before proceeding. With that said, let's roll that beautiful intro and get this party started. As always, we welcome you back to Moneyside, your favorite crypto news channel. If you are new here, welcome to the XRP fam. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Now back to today's topic, we're going to rev those engines with this tweet from Rocky Carter Inc. that says, well, well, two out of three are now public. Three has been working with regulators from day one to provide digital asset clarity. USDC, digital dollar XRP, bridge to world coincidence? I guess. What do we have here? If we look at the image Rocky shares in his tweet, we can all see BitLicense, New York State's Department of Financial Services, NYDFS. In June 2015, New York State released the BitLicense, a regulatory framework for companies engages in virtual currency business activity that act as cryptocurrency exchanges and or function as custodians of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. As part of the application process, the New York State Regulator reviews companies' antimony laundering customer protection and cybersecurity policies. As of October 2017, NYDFS has granted bit license to three companies, which are all major players in the industry, Circle, Ripple, and Coinbase. In addition to the bit license, the regulator has also granted banking charters to Bitcoin exchanges Gemini and ItBit. The bit license has drawn some criticism by the startup community for high costs associated with the application, which has led some firms to cease operation in New York. Evidently, it has always been XRP and Ripple from the word go. Moving on to the next tweet, we have this from BitFinext saying, Jim Cramer had another good segment on Tether today. Another instance of Tether FUD making national news. Tether is the biggest risk to crypto and Tether is a ticking time bomb. People need to stop defending Tether because they will lose all of their credibility. Quickly listening to what Jim Cramer has to say, he argues that the biggest risk to cryptocurrencies right now is the so-called stable coins, like Tether. It now seems like everyone these days got sources, but we can tell for sure that he's not wrong about Tether being a ticking time bomb. We're going to see more of these exposés in the coming days. Stay tuned so that you know which side of the scale you will fall on. Digital Asset Buy tweeted saying it was never Bitcoin. He shares this tweet from Lynn Alden Contact that says, apparently BSV was hit by a 51% attack. It only has a 0.5% as much hash rate as Bitcoin. So it's susceptible to those types of attacks. When it comes to blockchain security, network effects matter. It's just mind-blowing seeing how things are unraveling in the crypto market. I guess it was never Bitcoin after all. Let's quickly look at what the Bitcoin Association statement has to say at bitcoinassociation.net. As a part of the regular monitoring of the Bitcoin SV infrastructure team network, the association has been made aware of an illegal attack against the Bitcoin SV network. A malicious actor has recently been carrying out block reorganization attacks on the Bitcoin SV network, which appear to be intentional acts in an effort to mask the illegal double spending of coins. The Bitcoin SV infrastructure team have identified one of the addresses connected with the attack as being long associated with ransomware and other attacks on the Bitcoin, BCH, and BSV chains. So the malicious actor is engaged in illegal activity, which could also involve Bitcoin and BCH, and not just the BSV network. Given the nature of the illegal attacks being carried out, it is in the best interests of the entire blockchain and digital currency industry to halt the illegal activity as quickly as possible. Bitcoin Association intends to file reports with appropriate law enforcement authorities and work with affected parties to pursue all available legal remedies. Since first identifying the malicious activity, the Bitcoin SV infrastructure team has collected and documented relevant data to provide to appropriate authorities. From Gold Telegraph, Monetary Reset 
at least 80 central banks around the world are looking at digital currencies. It is coming regardless if you like it or not. Listening to a video he shared there from Christine Lagarde, we get the following. We think we central banks, and I'm not the only one here, there are 80 central banks around the world that are looking at digital currencies. Further, she says that she thinks they have to have digital currencies available that would operate to the benefit of their consumers. She said that these digital currencies could be used like banknotes. Further, she said that most consumers are looking into having their privacy protected, but they don't want anonymity. She says that most of these consumers understand the risks of anonymity when it comes to digital currencies. I guess it's almost investable that we will board this rocket ship of digital currencies. The only question here is, are you boarding too? Or will we have to leave you behind? Another one again from Gold Telegraph. The IMF, World Bank, and BIS are all advocating for central bank digital currencies. This confirms they are coming, in my opinion. With everything moving digital, having some allocation to physical gold is wise. From Bull H Bar, XRP is working with the banks, yes. We don't like banks, yes. But they aren't giving up control of the monetary system, facts. So we get rich with them, then oppose them once we join the new 1%. Sounds about right? Bitcoin maximalists have been working hard to see if they can overthrow the banks, but I think it's just time we admit that that's not going to happen. The governments are not about to give up control of the monetary systems, so we can only play the game of, if you cannot beat them, join them. We have another tweet right here from Panosmec that says, My article about Bitcoin and XRP was published by Hacker Moon. It's time we stop the misinformation, tribalism, and hate and talk about this revolutionary technology and how it is transforming the world and is making our lives better. He shares the link to this article on HackerMoon.com with the headline, What are the differences between Bitcoin and XRP? The article highlights these as the major differences between XRP and Bitcoin. We have XRP on one side and Bitcoin on the other. Some of the differences highlighted here include XRP is fast. While it takes 3 to 5 seconds to settle, Bitcoin, on the other hand, takes 10 plus minutes to settle. XRP has a lower transaction cost, with 0 0.0002 per transaction, while Bitcoin is $5 a transaction. XRP is also scalable, in that 1,500 transactions can be made per second, while for Bitcoin, only three transactions can be made per second. Lastly, we have sustainability, where we have XRP as environmentally sustainable as it has a negligible energy consumption, while Bitcoin uses up 0.3% of the global energy consumption. And moving on now from that, we have this tweet from Nilo Angelo 314 It says, you see the Phoenix symbol literally everywhere. Why? It's showing you what time it is on the spiritual level worldwide. From the volcanoes, NBA, video games, pins on people, you name it. The spiritual strings tying the physical together. Having eyes to see helps. Further, we have this tweet from Community Flare that says, It looks like at CoinMarketCap are ready for the Flare Network launch, having just listed Flare, the FLR symbol. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together, launch imminent. As we all know, Spark and Flare should be launched at least two weeks from now, at maximum. Now as we wind down on today's video, we have this interesting tweet from Reborn13 that says, The Flare Network, how you'll become rich without ever having to sell any XRP. Podcast out now. The staking and minting rewards at the very beginning of the Flare Network launch are truly breathtaking. You do not want to miss out on this opportunity. And he shares a link to a video where he beautifully explains what to expect on the horizon. Well, that's it, guys, for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Those who have been asking for the XRP price and whether the bull run is over, well, you should know that the bull run has not even started yet. After the lawsuit, we could be looking at a minimum of $100 with XRP now as the first regulated crypto. Without a doubt, 
XRP is truly the one coin to rule them all. With that in mind, let's take a look at the price action of XRP. Now we're looking at the 4 hour time frame perspectives. XRP USD in the last times is forming quite an interesting formation. As I discovered, the formation has similarities with the descending wedge formation forming in Bitcoin. When the formation in XRP completes in the upcoming times with the right price action and XRP maintains a substantial pace in the upcoming times, this can lead to great volatility, activation of the targets, and appointing of the targets till they are reached. Therefore, I detected all the important levels, formational structure, and what we should consider with XRP in the upcoming times. As when looking at my chart, we can watch there how XRP is now building up above this ascending trend line marked in my chart with the dashed black. Above this trend line, XRP forms this major descending wedge formation with the waves A to C almost already completed and recently with the ending of the wave C, XRP moved rightly into the given ascending support determined by the ascending trend line. When XRP now manages to increase with bullish price action further in the upcoming times, this will lead to a completion of the descending wedge formation and activation of the upside targets. Currently, XRP already tested the 20 EMA, which is a good sign. Taking all these factors into consideration, now XRP has developed a considerable structure from where it can move on with appropriate opportunities. Therefore, it is necessary that XRP USD rightly bounces above the upper boundary of the descending wedge formation. When this happens, as it is shown in my chart, and XRP rightly stabilizes above the boundary, it will be the setup for the further continuations to the upside and activation of the target zone at 74 cents marked in my chart in blue. After this zone is reached, it has to be elevated how XRP continues further and if there comes a bullish continuation right away or if XRP USD firstly sets up for a pullback. As always, trade safely guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All the videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to click on the subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thank you again and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video.